Hey guys, this is Luke Mechanic Man 48, and today I'm going to be telling you, showing you, how to replace a right headlight bulb in a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta. So there's going to be, it's right in front of the windshield washer tank here, and there's going to be a cover over the back of the bulb and two wire holders on each end. I've already got the other one off, but the so you're so to take it off, you're going to want to put a screwdriver underneath. And, and take it off like that. Then you're going to want to carefully remove the cover. And be very careful because there's a wiring harness right here. And if it's an old car especially because, you know, it's really old. And this is what the cover looks like here. And then you're going to want to reach inside this the bulb here, if you can see that. You're going to want to reach inside here. There will be a nut inside there. And you're going to want to carefully turn it to the left. Again, be careful of the wires at the back of the bulb. You're going to want to carefully turn it to the left. And then carefully pull out the bulb. And here's what it looks like. And this big thing that's around it is the nut. And then you're going to want to carefully take off this little plastic thing that's holding in the ball. So one more thing about the nut. You see those holes there, guys? Those little square holes? Though There is knobs in the back of the housing that go into those holes. And then when you tighten it, it that's how the bulb stays in there. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, now we need to take off a little plastic thing, that little plastic thing right there that's holding the bulb in. So, you're going to want to carefully take it off, especially if it's old, because, you know, old plastic can be brittle. And then you want to, again, wiggle until you just pull the bulb out. Here's what the bulb looks like. You can see the Sylvan. It says Sylvania, and you can see those numbers there. When you get this, this is our new bulb over here. You're gonna want to compare. We got this at the AutoZone. We want to compare the numbers, like HB59007, to the one on the bulb over here, HB59007. That's good. So they're both the same thing. So that will be good. You make sure to compare those because if you don't, you could end up with the wrong part and then that could be wrong. So you're going to want to remove the plastic nut from the old bulb and don't get your hands all over this clear part because I guess it could smudge it so it doesn't look so good. And then you want to carefully open the package, but make sure before you tear into it that you compare those numbers. So that, yeah, we did. so that if they're wrong, you can take it back. Then you're going to remove the bulb from the package. And you're going to want to reinsert the nut onto the new bulb, like this. Like so. Action. So, as you can see, there's this connector here. You're going to want to make sure the sides of the bulb fit up with, with the connector right here. You're going to want to carefully push it on and keep pushing until this until this tab here snaps on so that it'll be locked securely in place. Pause it. So now we're going to be checking whether the low beam works before we go any farther. This is the new bulb. There it is. It's working. Cuz these are the the DRLs. I guess he turned on the he turned on the headlights too, but the low beam is working. Did you get a high beam? Did you turn on high beam? Yep, the high beam is working also. So, that is good. It's all working. So, as you can see there's these white 
tabs back in there, those white circle with the tabs on them. And that's what you're going to hook the nut into. Okay, so as you can see, we got it all in the fixture and it's all ready to go, I think. So now you're going to want to carefully insert it because of the wires. Be careful of the wires. Insert it into the hole. And you're going to want to find the place where the nut goes. Okay, so now that we have the nut tight and it's all tight in there, you're going to want to put this cover carefully. Can the cameraman say one thing? Yes. Okay. This is just one little thing here about that nut, guys. Um, it's very hard to do. It's you, the nut, you have to get the right shaped square in the right sl shaped slot of the nut. So sometimes if it won't, if if wherever you have it won't work, then you just push the nut back a little bit, spin it around, and keep working it until you get the slots lined up. It's just a matter of getting the right slot in the, the right square in the right slot. And, that, and that is, and there's nothing you can do other than doing it by feel, and it, there's nothing you can do other than just experimenting with getting it just right. And of course, pushing the bulb in so that it's nice and tight in the holder and as square as you can get it and it's just a matter of feel and that's that's all I wanted to say about that it's just something you have to feel and something you have to experiment with and and there are three slots and in, in the nut and there are three squares on the back of the housing so that's just the way it works they just have to get in the right ones have to get together because that, that nut is very much a pain to get on there. So now that you have the nut all secure and tight in there, you're going to want to carefully slip this cover back on. Make sure to get the little circle on the right thing. Carefully slip it back on until it's on. Then you're going to want to pop on these little wire holders here. That one's on, and then you're going to want to do up here, and that is on, you are all secure, and um, let's test it to see if it actually worked. Okay, go ahead. Those are the low beam headlights, and the low beam was the one that's out. So that works. And now let's check the high beam. The high beam works also. So. So. Um, so we're going to click low then high so you can see that it's a little tough to see. So uh, this is low. And this is high. Okay. And so that works. If you follow those steps, you will successfully replace your headlight bulb in your car. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you.